Isang mapagpalang araw po ng lunes sa lahat ng mga spiritual viewers. Today is February 22, 2021. Hindi lahat ng nabibigyan ng second chance, pero bakit may mga taong nabigyan na sinayang pa? Kaya ikaw kapag binigyan ka ng second chance, gamitin mo ito para magbago. At patunayan mo na deserving ka talaga. Tandaan po natin na ang second chance ay pinibigay sa taong marunong tanggapin ang kanyang kamalian. Shout out po kay Brother Jam Dacles. Maraming salamat po sa inyong concern tungkol po sa audio ng ating video message. Kasi sometimes mahina. Maraming salamat po sa uh, mini microphone na inyo pong ibinigay sa akin. No? Ito po ang mini microphone. Uh, salamat po Brother Jam Dacles sa inyong concern. God bless you. In the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Words to live by. God wants to give you a second chance. May isang uh, famous documentary ng isang sikat na artista dito sa Pilipinas. Naalala nyo ba itong si Miss Cherry Pie Picatse? Sa YouTube niya po, napanood ko kung paano niya pinatawad ang taong pumatay sa kanya ina. So ang pangagat, pamagat po ng uh, documentary sa YouTube ay Radical Love. Panoorin nyo po yan. At noong 1980s, doon po sa Amerika, mayroong isang uh, tao doon, doon na kung saan ang tatay mismo ng isang anak na lalaki na namatay dahil sa lasing na driver sa kalaunan ang nagbaptay sa kriminal na pumatay sa kanyang anak. In another situation, nagiging uh, madrama po ito dahil ang mag-asawang ito, kanilang ginawang adapted ang drunk driver na pumatay sa kanilang anak na lalaki. Kaya radical love. So ang mga stories of forgiveness mga kapatid are gripping to us. Ito po sila ay refreshing and sad and very rare. Ang konsepto ng uh, pagpapatawad sa ibang tao is rooted in God's forgiveness of us. So ang ating pinag-aralan ngayon ay ang familiar, pag-aaralan natin ay isang familiar Bible passage or text ng series nito na tinatawag nating Words to Live by. Ito po ang ating pinag-aaralan uh, magmula pa last week. So ngayong linggong ito, pag-aaralan natin ang 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 which is a landmark passage of unforgiveness. Kung may topic man na kailangan nating pakinggan ng mabuti, ito siguro ang isang topic na napakahalaga. Because God wants to give you another chance. Gusto ng Diyos na bigyan kayo ng pangalawang pagkakataon. Kaya sabi sa 1 John 1.9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful in just to forgive us and purify us from all unrighteousness. So ang context ng passage na ito ay nagpapakita ang pagkakaroon ng confidence sa pamumuhay kristyano dahil alam natin that God wants uh, to forgive His children and when they come clean before Him. Basahin po natin ang context ng 1 John chapter 1, especially from verses 7 and 10. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, His Son, purify us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Ito na sa verse 10, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Verse 10, If we claim we have not sinned, we make Him out to be a liar and His word has no place in our lives. The word of God. Tandaan po natin na isinulat po ni Juan ang aklat na ito, ang book ng 1 John, para po sa mga Christians, para po sa mga believers. So ang passage na ito is talking to Christians. Napakahalaga po ito dahil ang pangakong ito ay hindi para sa lahat ng tao but only to those who have committed their lives to Christ and are under the blood of the Lamb. Ngunit 
kapatid, kaibigan, spiritual viewers, ang isa pang dahilan ay share that with you. Habang maiintindihan natin ang forgiveness ng Diyos, when we become a Christian, sa tingin ko, nagiging mahirap intindihin at tanggapin ito habang tumatagal ang ating pagiging Christians. After we give our lives to Jesus, years later we struggle with the, with the knowing He can really forgive our sins. Sa araw na ito, if we are committed as a believer of Christ or believer in Jesus Christ, gusto kong tanggapin mo ng buo, buong buo at maluwag ang katotohanan ito. Kapag tayo po ay mag-confess that we are sinners, God's grace will cover all our sins. Yung inyong past sins, ang ating present sins, and even ang ating future sins. Ngunit isang uh, kung hindi mo pa ito, ma, hindi mo pa mo na submit ang inyong buhay na maging isang follower ni Kristo, sa araw na ito, I want you to learn how you too can have your sins forgiven. Marami po mga verses sa Bible about God's promise to forgive. Ngunit, uh, ang tanong, why, it, why it's hard to accept God's forgiveness? Kung minsan lahat po tayo ay parang mayroong incorrect image of God. Ang tingin natin sa Diyos ay parang isang pulis na mayroong hawak na pito, mayroong hawak na batuta, or parang isang bully. Maaari ring ang iilan sa inyo ay uh, ang tingin sa Diyos ay parang isang gentle ga- grandfather type. No? So maybe uh, na, napakahirap tanggapin ang kanyang forgiveness because uh, ang kanyang grace or ang kanyang biyaya is very illogical para po sa atin. It doesn't make sense. ba diba? Kung bakit iibigin niya tayo unconditionally at tayo ay papatawarin niya. So, napaka-inconsistent ito with the way we feel. Kaya parang di natin akalain na patawarin tayo ng Diyos. Hindi natin naramdaman ang kapatawaran. So, therefore, we feel that we must not be forgiven. Kaya ang concept po ng kantang Amazing Grace, parang nabura sa ating uh, nakagisnan, sa ating paligid o society at sa ating sariling buhay mismo. O baka naman may mga times na pinasok ni Satan ang ating isip, ang ating damdamin, ang ating buhay at sasabihin niya sa atin, no? sa ating uh, konsensya ni Satanas. Alam nyo, hindi ko talaga kailangan na maisip natin na siguro sabihin natin din pinasok tayo ni Satan ang ating heart, ang ating mind. Sasabihin natin na alam niyo hindi ko talaga kailangan ang forgiveness dahil disente naman akong tao, wala naman akong kaaway, hindi naman ako masama. So halos lahat po tayo can be very good at making excuses uh, at making excuses on ourselves uh, to appear better than we truly are, di ba? Uh, lahat natin na uh, uh, ang forgiveness ni Kristo has no strings attached. No ulterior motives. Walang hidden agenda. So it is not for His benefit. It is for ours. So ang kanyang nature, ang nature ng Diyos is so different from us. So remember, sa araw na ito, God delights in giving second chances. Tandaan natin when Moses wanted to understand more about God so that he could speak with authority to the people of uh, Israel, dinaanan siya ng Diyos. At kanyang sinabi tungkol sa Diyos, alam nyo kung ano, Exodus 34 verse 6, sabi niya, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. So God is patient in giving us second chances. At hindi lang isa, but continual second chance. Kaya ngayon, ikaw, buhay pa. Binigyan ka ng Diyos ng second chance. In the book of Micah 7 verse 18, Who is a God like you, who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? You do not say or you do not stay angry forever but delight to show mercy. So mga kapatid, God savors opportunities to offer second chances and is eager not to punish us when we truly seek forgiveness for our sins. 
So makikita po natin dito, mga kapatid, we see this most clearly in God's offering up His only Son, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of our sins. At itong si Apostle uh, Pedro, explain niya po that Jesus Himself, 1 Peter 2.24, Christ Himself bore our sins in His body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By His wounds, you have been healed. So si Jesus po ay nabuhay siya na walang kasalanan. He lived the sinless life we could not live and died the gruesome death we should have received upang bigyan tayo ng second chance at life with God. So sana po, words to live by, God gives you second chance. Tayo po ay manalangin. Lord our Father in Heaven, thank you so much that you are a God of second chances. There are so many events in the Bible that you have given second chance. In the case of Jonah in the Bible, you have given him second chance. And other people there in the Bible, David, Job, and Abraham, everyone. And of course, today we claim that promise because you also have given us second chances. The fact that you are still alive, your second chance is our enjoyment right now. Lord, give us the heart and mind to worship you by being a God who can give us second chance no matter what we did, no matter how sinful we did, Lord God. We know that from the bottom of our hearts, you can give us second chances. In the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. Amen.